Hey everybody! Happy Wednesday, March 31st. I did mention on my Monday Make It Monday that March only had 30 days. I knew better than that. <laughs> 30 days hath September, April, May, and November. All the rest have 31 except for February. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking on Monday. Sometimes I'm a little off my off my rocker. I am taking vitamins. <laughs> What's that um, vitamin you're supposed to take for your brain? I need to get me some of that focus factor. Um Anyway, I hope you're all doing good. If you're here, say hello. I love to chat with you. I didn't announce today's um, coffee and a card. Um, I usually put a post up earlier in the day, but I thought I'd just come on. This is my normal time, Wednesdays at 2, that I come on for coffee and a card. I'm drinking some um, red drink. I don't know if any of you are oily people, but um, I'm drinking a little the Ningxia Red from the um, Young Living Oils. I try and drink drink two ounces of that a day and I mix it in with some sparkling water and some other things. So that should help my brain, I would hope. Um, today is the last day of March, so the host code, last day to use the March host code. When you place an order with me and use the host code, you will receive a free gift um, from me. Um, if your order is over $150, however, do not use the host code because you will earn your own stamp and rewards and um, receive my a gift from me automatically. Hi, Susan. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kay. God, glad to see you. Yes, Donna, I um, usually announce it, and today I just kind of got right into it this morning and and um, forgot to post it, but um, thanks for hopping on anyway and checking in. Um, we're on our countdown to Easter, right? Is anybody doing anything um, special? Are you hosting anyone or... Um, making any special plans, any meal plans. We kind of have a, it's not really a potluck, but everybody brings something. So all of the weight isn't on one person. So we will have a small gathering here Sunday. Um, the card we're going to make today. Okay. I reminded you about the March host go. Today's the last day to use that. Um, don't forget about the last chance sale. I had a little postcard sitting around here. Here we go. They're calling it the last chance sale. <laughs> um, we'll put this up. There we go. Um, everything that's retiring from the annual catalog will, uh, you can, uh, this is the uh, spreadsheet. I reprinted a better spreadsheet because I had some items missing off the one that someone had provided me. So. I went straight to the horse's mouth and printed this from the Stampin' Up! website, and it is long list, four pages, and you need a magnifying glass to see that. But um, it's easier to see it if you go to um, my Stampin' Up! website, which is leslie.stampinup.net. And um, there's a little link you can just click on shop or see retiring products or last chance products and you'll be able to see everything that's going away that's still available because it is while supplies last and that will last through May 3rd because then our new catalog goes live. Um, speaking of new catalog I will be putting in my order with Stampin' Up! today and they will ship out catalogs from their location to you if you have ordered from me in the last year I will um, be sending you a catalog. So be on the lookout for that. I think they said that they will ship out around April 8th. So um, after April 8th, be looking in your mailboxes. I haven't received mine as a demo. I'm waiting on mine. I checked my mailbox 
frequently, well, every day, daily, which is kind of unusual. I usually check it every two or three days. Hi, Chris. Hi, Kat. Hope you're doing well. I think that's all the business at hand. Um, this is the little card we're going to make. And all the products I used in today's card uh, are in from the annual catalog. Um, and I'll have a list of them as soon as we get off here. I always put it in the description of, above the, the video. So, Or you can always check my blog, theplaidpoodle.com, or my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash theplaidpoodle. And I put a replay. Oh, my gosh. Well, do you see that my daughter's taking me to get my nails done? Oh, y'all. Thought I had that notifications turned off. Sorry about that. She's taking me to get my nails done tomorrow for my birthday. So, we're getting a little pedicure tomorrow or manicure. Manicure. I hope she doesn't. That's probably going to pop up again. Oh my gosh. I use my phone as my camera, so I can't stop it. That's really weird that it did that cuz I have um I have it on no notifications right now, so I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> anyway, we are all professional over here. You know that. Okay, to make the card, first I started with an 8.5 by 5.5 inch um, piece of thick basic white. You know, if you've been around a while, that I like to use the thick cardstock for my card bases. So um, this one measures five and a half by eight and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a fourth and folded it on the score line, and that's the card base. And then the first layer, the paper I'm using is the 20, 20, 20, 22, six by six in color paper. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> So I'm using a couple prints from that package. This is the bumblebee color. I always like to combine, um, it's a pretty monochromatic card, but I threw in some um, misty moonlight blue. So I always think yellows and blues really look nice together. So this first layer measures four by five and a fourth. And then I've cut another piece of the D designer series paper. This one measures four by two and a half, and there is a pattern. So when you're cutting your uh, paper, make sure you um, pay attention to the pattern so your words aren't sideways or upside down. <laughs> and that's going to be kind of in our frame or window. I, I didn't know if I should call it a window card or a frame card. It's kind of both. And we're going to um, adhere that right down to the card front with um, some just adhesive. But I want to make sure that my frame fits. And I made this frame using the stitched rectangle dies, which you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dies. Uh, with the stitched rectangle dies. And I use those all the time and that's how I made the frame. I used the, I've got a mess over here. I think I used the third and the fifth. Yes, I used the third die and the fifth die from the largest to make my frame. I wanted, I went ahead and cut that out before y'all got here. So um, you wouldn't have to see me labor over that. And then I used a piece of three and three quarters by five inch um, bumblebee cardstock to cut the frame out. I just layered these um, evenly, <laughs> not haphazardly like they look right now. I just kind of layered them like that, like so. So they're going to make a little frame. It's about probably a half inch frame. It's pretty nice. So that's three and three quarters by five and five, five inches. Okay, so that's how I got the frame that ends up looking like this. So I'm going to kind of determine where I want that frame on my card front. Hi, Stacy. Good to see you here. Um, 
to determine where I want this designer series paper. But we're going to put the frame on in a minute after we get this down. And I'm just using my stamp and seal adhesive, nothing fancy on this. Now, to put my um, frame down, I did use some dimensionals, and I used the mini dimensionals. I need to find my little paper snips. And I just cut some off the side like this <laughs> of the mini dimensionals, so I end up with a little strip of dimension. Um, and I use that on the side. Whoops. I think I peeled the sticky part off. Or I didn't peel it enough. Hmm. Make sure you put your... Um, strips or your dimensionals on the right side. Ask me how I know. I had to fix that on my sample. I'm going to strip off another little piece. And then on both ends. So I'm basically just kind of cutting little strips off the edges of these mini dimensionals. I might have run out. Yep. Now, if you don't have a die cutting machine and you can't make a window like that, you could just put strips of cardstock around your um, paper to kind of make a frame if you do not have a, a die cutting machine. I think for some reason I might have stripped off the sticky part on this one, so I'm going to add a little, little adhesive. There we go. I'm just going to lay that frame right over top of that. So now we have you know, a little dimension there. Now we're going to build up our um, our little flowers. I don't know if you can see the stem in there, but I did do a stem. And I'm using the Daisy Lane stamp set. There are two coordinating punches to the stamp set, the small daisy and the larger daisy. I'm going to use the small daisy for my um, card today. And I have a piece of six and three quarter by three and three quarter whisper white, and this should fit all of our stamping on here. So I'm going to grab some memento because I'm going to color my little daisies in with my stamp and blends. There should be enough room to do the daisies and the stem if I do this right. Okay. Those are a little too close. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and then I'm using some garden green to do the stem. And my garden green is really juicy. There we go. Now, 
to color the little flowers, I just used the light, um, actually the dark seaside spray. Um, the Misty Moonlight is my uh, coordinating cardstock that I'm using, but I, I found that the, the Stampin' Blend in the Misty Moonlight was a little dark, so I went with the lighter um, dark in using the dark seaside spray. And I just colored the centers. I'm not going to color all of these in front of you. If you're panicking, don't worry. <laughs> I just wanted to show you what I did. So I stamped them in the Memento because I'm using the blend and the Memento won't um, blur. And then I just am taking the tip of my marker and doing feather strokes out from the middle on each petal. I didn't color in the whole petal. I certainly could have. And it really makes the memento take on kind of a blue hue. I mean, you can't tell that I actually used the black to outline to do the stamping, but that's all I did on those. Then I went back and made them a little darker on some of them. But that's all I did for my flowers. It, you can kind of see where I stopped the coloring. There's like a little circle there. And then I punched them all out with the um, little daisy punch, the smaller one. There's a larger one and a small one. And I they are carrying over. I did check the thing, so no worries on those. So I did six of them because we're going to layer two with each flower and make them look a little fuller. And then for the um, stem, I'm not going to cut the whole thing out because I've already cut one out. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it's in here. There it is. I, um, I just fussy cut that out, which is a fancy way of saying I just cut it out uh, by hand. And remember when you are fussy cutting to move your paper and not your scissors and you get a smoother um, cut. When you get to a corner, turn your paper instead of turning your scissors. I don't know if you're noticing how I'm doing that. But anyway, I cut the stem out that way because unfortunately there wasn't a punch or a die. <laughs> but it didn't take very long at all to get that stem punched out. And then I put some dimensionals, the mini dimensionals. Y'all should see my desk today. It's, it's quite a mess. And some little strips again on those um, upper leaves. I wanted my um, stem to kind of pop out as well. <laughs> Trying to find the uh, sticky part. I think we'll do one more little skinny strip. Very tiny. Okay. So my big hands are in the way, but can you see what I did? I just put a couple of them on these bigger leaves, and then I did a couple strips on the stem. So we're going to put that on our card front. For some reason, ah, I am pulling off the um, the whole shebang on some of these. That's probably that same side that I did did the other one. 
And then I also put a little dab of liquid glue on that bottom stem. And I kind of want it to curl towards this corner of the card. So I put it on like that. This one I think I curled a little bit uh, more than I did this one. And then I took my six stamped and punched daisies. We're going to use some more dimensionals. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other. Just having a hard time with these dimensionals today. I might have a bad batch. I have to send these back. Okay. And then I'm going to prop that little guy up with just a regular size. Or no, I'm going to use the the mini dimensionals. Hi, Mom. I think when I'm pulling up, I'm pulling the whole, instead of just the little sticky part, I, I mean, I'm pulling up the sticky part along with the, um, and I'm just being left with the foam padding. So there might be something wrong with these dimensionals. Stampin' Up's really good about replacing things, so I will just give them a call, and I'll um, grab another pack real quick. Sorry about that. Dead air there, right? Now I'm out of dimensionals on this little guy, but we, we'll fix that. We'll just cut little pieces off. And one last flower. There we go. And then I'm going to put those on with, I'm going to just grab, whoops. Y'all, it's not usually this hard. What is up? There we go. <laughs> My little fingers are not moving today. There we go. And I'm going to put this little guy right over here in the middle, make it look like it's just coming right out of that stem as well. And then this bottom one, we're going to put down here in the corner. It's coming off this side of the stem. Isn't that cute? Okay, now we're going to do the little tag. And I'm using a piece of the Misty Moonlight um, cardstock for this. And we are going to stamp that sentiment. I'm using one from our uh, stamp set, the Daisy Lane stamp set. I'm using it. It's your time to shine. And I'm going to use some Versamark and some white embossing powder. We're going to emboss this.
think I got that. away so it doesn't so I'm sorry that for the noise the heat tool I'm gonna whoops got batteries and everything sticking to it um, I apologize for the noise it's gonna do this ahead of time but it's always so magical to watch it <laughs> to watch it turn Okay, and then I am going to use a punch, and it's the classic label punch, and I believe this one is retiring. I will tell you that in just a minute, because I think I noticed, and I was a little upset about it. I use this punch a lot, <laughs> too, for sentiments especially. Oh, good cat. Yeah, it's just noisy. It's kind of fun to watch. And I'm just using a little multi-purpose glue to put my little sentiment on there. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, I was going to see if that punch is retiring. I'm pretty sure that it is because I thought I noticed. And I was kind of like, oh, no. <laughs> the ones that I'm going to miss, I notice. <laughs> it's on page 166 in the annual catalog. If you all don't have a catalog and you haven't ordered from me, um, I'd love to send one to you. I'll just ask that you pay the postage for it. Um, postage right now is ridiculous. But if you've ordered for me in the last year, you can, um, yes, the classic label punch is retiring, but you'll be happy to know it's 20% off right now. If it's still there, that would be a good punch to grab. I use it all the time for those little um, sentiments. Anyway, that is our card for the day. I, I really um, enjoyed putting that together. And I think you could call it a window card or a frame card. <laughs> I don't know what. But it looks like our daisies are kind of growing right into the, the window. So, um, Thank you, Stacy. You think it looks fancy. <laughs> Um, I try to keep it simple. I think um, projects with punches are always more simple, but we... We did use some die cutting and some layering and some heat embossing. Lots of fun things. So um, it's probably an intermediate project. But like I said, if you do not have a die cutting machine, um, you could easily just frame this out with strips of the Bumblebee cardstock and then use your punch and, um, you know, raise those up on um, dimensionals and do the do the very same thing and get the same look. So I appreciate you for um, joining me today. It's Wednesday, so that means I will be off and I'll be back next Monday at 2 p.m. for um, Make It Monday. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend um, and um, we'll talk to you then. So we'll talk later. Th um, happy stamping and we'll um, see you Monday. Bye-bye.